Hello everyone and welcome to a guide on how to make silage in Farming Simulator 19. In this video I'm going to show you how to produce chaff from these crops here and then turn it into silage by fermenting it. So the first way I'm going to show you how to is with grass. So you can use a mower, any mower you want. I just have this one here just to speed it up a little bit. So here you see the option here you have a work mode and for um, making silage, you want to have it on. Uh, oops, the wrong button there. You want to have it on swath dropping, so it's easier to pick up. Because if you have it on wide spreading, you're gonna have to go around and rake it all up. So then that just makes an extra step that you have to do, which with this mower you shouldn't have to. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead here and cut some grass, and then we're gonna go and pick it up, and I'll show you what to do with it. If you are new to farming simulator or new to making silage or you don't know how to make silage in this game I'd recommend doing it with grass first because it's the easiest to get into like you don't need a crazy amount of expensive machines to get into it like you don't need a forage harvester you can just use the loading wagons to pick it up and stuff and it also yields pretty high so you can get quite a lot of grass and if you make it a field and stuff like that, you can fertilize it and get even more for it. So I think this should be enough just to show you how to how to do it. So the first one I'm going to show you what to do is using a loading wagon. So the loading wagon, you can pick up straw, grass, hay with it. And you can also load it with a forage harvester to one of these here. You can also use it as a trailer. And you can also pick up silage with the loading wagon. So we're just going to lower it down, turn it on, basic stuff, and then just drive over the swaths and pick it up. It's going to come up as grass because that's what it is. But then as soon as it goes in the bunker, it's going to be turned to chaff. So yeah, you won't be able to get grass back out of that bunker. The silage bunker over there. So if you wanted to store grass, that's not how it's gonna work. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna change it straight back into chaff. Okay, so I went up and down here a couple of times. It was 62%. It's good enough just for a demonstration. Now I'll show you when you empty it into the pit, how it just turns straight to chaff. See, it's going from grass to chaff like that. Now I'll show you how you can pick it up also if you're rich or you cheated in money you can use the forage harvester. It'll also pick it up. So you need this header though. The grass pickup header. You're gonna need that to pick this up. So with this one though, picking it up, you can't hire a worker to do it. So you're gonna have to use a trailer on the back of this or if you have follow me you can do it get the trailer to follow but yeah I'll just go along here I'll just park the trailer along here and then show you it shooting it in so yeah all this does is basically the same thing as that loading wagon it just picks it up like this and shoots it in but that yellow trailer over there, the random trailers, that actually will hook up to here. You can use that and pull it around and then tip it off. There's not many trailers that will fit on these actually. So that's how you do it with the grass. Mix, make silage with the grass, well the chaff. And now here we've got this class Jaguar here with this uh, direct disc header. So now this can directly cut grass and put it into the trailer's chaff without mowing. So you won't need to mow, you can just take this header and just drive along the grass here and it will chop it straight up. And it's also used for chopping wheat or barley or oat, soybeans and canola I think. And then you can turn that into, 
into the chaff too. So just like this, you're turning the wheat that you've grown into silage for selling or for your animals. But now, this is an expensive way to do it because this machine is really expensive. But it's just another way you can do it. So it takes that step out of mowing the grass. You just go straight with this and chop it. And also you here you can use it for the wheat. Or whatever crop you want. And now for wheat, using it for silage it doesn't put out that much. The best is grass and corn for silaging. We'll go and take a look at chopping corn. So here there's a cheap one and an expensive one here. So you've got this attachment here that goes on the front of the tractor or it can go on the back of the tractor whatever you want if you prefer backing the trailer up the field or maybe someone is falling up the side of you with the trailer. But this thing is pretty simple again. You just turn it on, lower it, get the pipe out and then it will put it straight into the back of the trailer. But it's only, is that three row or two row? I think it's two row. Be a two row, so it is going to take a lot longer. But if you have if you have a small farm or you're just starting out, then this is a good option to go for. And now I'll show you how to chop corn with the forage harvester. With the forage harvester on corn, it's really really easy. So the easiest way to do it. Is just to put the guy on a, on a worker like that and then you go with your tractor and trailer and just follow him just like that now look how wide that one is compared to this mall <laughs> you get it done way faster but yeah if, if you had follow me you could you could drive the harvester and then the guy would follow you with the trailer but in the in game this is the way I would do it just have a worker on the harvester it's just way easier or in multiplayer then you would have people driving the harvesters but yeah when you get the money saved up to buy one of these they're really worth it if you're doing a lot of silage so when we get to the end of here I'll just unload this trailer and then we'll get and show you the compacting of the silage pit and then fermenting okay so now say you've finished up your harvest of your corn or your grass or whatever and now it's time to move to the next step so if you pull up your F1 menu here it says compacting 12% so all you want to do is just keep driving up and down here to flatten it out compact it down and there's also in the store which I'll just pull up right now and show you guys if you go over to levelers here there's also all these different kinds of things here so they're gonna help speed up the process of compacting like this one here just go on the back of the tractor and lower it down and it will just speed it up so yeah it's pretty self-explanatory just put them on the back drive up and down it will just speed it up a little bit but I'm just gonna go along here with the tractor and compact it down and then once it's 100% I'll show you guys the next step ninety nine percent a hundred percent now we can get out of the tractor come over to the silage you just compacted all chaff and now you can hit blanket silo and there you go fermenting silage one percent so you can speed up time and then it will ferment to a hundred percent then you can open up the blanket and then you'll have silage under there so we're gonna go ahead and ferment the silage just by fast forwarding and then we'll show you how to unload the bunk. It's fermented now 100%. So 
so it is silage now so if we open up the blanket there we go see this is the old stuff that we put in first the chaff and now it's turned this brown color so that's actually the silage so here I'm going to show you the first way of taking the silage out of the pit which is one of the easy easiest ways really but it, it's pretty slow it's the conveyor belt so just hook this guy up here get him into position like that so yeah it's it's a slow way of doing it but it's easy like you just set it up like that just pull under it and then it'll start loading but like it's that it's pretty slow so you could put your trailer under here and then go and do whatever do any other jobs you need to do on the farm yeah, but it's a good way for first starting out because the conveyor belts are cheap. They can move anything, so they're pretty. There's a pretty good idea to have them around. So, yeah, and now I'll show you a second way of doing it, which is with the wheel loader. And you can use a telehandler, a skid steer, a front loader, anything with a bucket. But this is more of one of the common, more common ways to do it since they can carry more and now this here wheel, wheel loader has the silage fork on the front wait and the silage fork can hold more than the regular bucket so you can use the bucket too but that only holds 3000 and this one will hold 5000 liters so it's just simple as driving in there with the bucket down and scooping it up and then just dumping it straight in the trailer but be careful with the loader that you buy because maybe it might not be might not have the reach to reach into the trailer like there's some that won't even reach this high just like that now that's how you do it with the wheel loader now here the third way i'm going to show you is with the nawaru mouse the roper mouse 5 this is the nawaru so this one can pick up basically anything that the regular mouse 5 can only pick up sugar beets so be careful you don't buy the wrong one and now also the, these are the large bunkers and these are the only ones that this will fit in if you get a medium or a small bunker the header will not fit into the bunker so you won't be able to get your silage out so just be careful you don't buy the wrong bunker or you don't buy this when you have a medium bunker or whatever now we can just turn it on and just lower it down there we go this is one of the fastest ways to do it like loading trailers like this thing loads the trailer so fast and you can swing it any way you want most people use this once they get enough money or they maybe they cheat in money but this is more of one of the common ways to do it this and the wheel loader so now you've seen that there's another way I'll show you with the you can also do it with the loading wagon which is a really really handy way yeah so it's just as simple as turning on the loading wagon lowering it down and dr driving over the silage and this one they actually load pretty fast so I'd recommend using one of these two to do it just if you're tight on cash or you want to get it done fast because these things load really fast and they're cheap and you can use it for hauling your grass and everything so now we're stuck but yeah that's been the beginner's guide on how to make silage for farming simulator 19 i hope this helped you and i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next episode